Hey you guys, welcome back to My Table 3. I'm Carrie, and today I'm going to share with you a very simple, easy side dish that is both low carb, keto friendly, non-diet friendly. It's really basically a great vegetable side dish for anyone and that is roasted asparagus. Now, before you frown or turn your nose up, if you've not had fresh asparagus, let me tell you, you are missing out. If you um, have had canned asparagus in the past, believe me, I know the turmoil of having survived eating canned asparagus. It, it's just gross. I hate it. I ate it gr growing up some. It was really just mushy and flavorless. And I've tried it since I was grown and did not like it either. But several, several years ago, way back uh, before my son was born, who is now 13, my husband and I tried fresh asparagus. We were doubtful at first, but now... Uh, we instantly fell in love because it is a totally different story, you guys. Fresh asparagus is amazing and very simple to cook. It's so flavorful when done right and roasting is definitely the way to go. So today I'm going to show you how I do my simple asparagus. We are just going to have a really simple dinner today of tuna fish wraps and we needed a vegetable. And I have a couple of pounds of asparagus. Um, that need to be used up. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now this recipe is just a guide. You can season it, use any kind of oils you like, but if you do follow keto, Trim Healthy Mama, or any low carb diet, this is a perfect side. It's non-starchy, it's a good vegetable, it's healthy, and it's very flavorable. Trim Healthy Mama, friends, this would be an S side dish for you. Everybody else, it's just a great healthy vegetable side. Let me show you how to do it really quick. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and give me a thumbs up on this video. And always follow me on social media to see the things I post over there. I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest as well. So let's hop over to the oven um, stove and let me show you how I prepare this asparagus and get in there because we are hungry and ready to eat. All right, so I'm just gonna start with fresh asparagus that comes in this pouch for Aldi. A lot of times during the summer, you'll get it for um, pretty cheap at Aldi, like $2.98 or something like that. Sometimes $1.98 a bag, which we love to grab it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to, really quick. I already did one package here. Um, it looks like this, and the bottom part of the asparagus is really woody. You can see how it's it's a harder woody part, and you don't want to eat that because that's what's chewy and it turns a lot of people off. But what you can do is you can just grab it and you can bend, and it'll naturally break. See how it naturally breaks? Well, the woody part is what comes off. You can do a few at a time if you want, and it just kind of snaps right off. And these um, need to be eaten. That's why I'm doing both packs. And you can always cook it and put it in the refrigerator like a meal prep and reheat it when you need to be. But you can see how it pops right off. And this is the part you could eat with a little tuft there. And then this is the hard woody part. Um, you can save this for your veggie stock if you want to. Uh, but I just break it off. Sometimes I, you can do a bunch at a time. But you don't want to get too many different sizes because you'll break them off in different points and make it carry away. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and snap all this really fast with these woody parts and just show you how I do it. This is just a really simple, it's low carb, it's vegetarian, it's vegan, it can even be low fat depending on what you kind of oil or how much oil you put in it. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. Just snapping all these woody parts off and laying them aside because I will um, put those in my bag in the freezer for veggie stock. All right. And this is just a half sheet tray that I have. Um, baking tray with a silicone mat. If you wanted to roast this with no oil, you could absolutely do that. But I'm going to drizzle some um, avocado oil or grapeseed oil, whatever you want to use probably using it's not as much coming out because it's almost empty probably about a tablespoon a tablespoon and a half then I'm gonna do some of my ground onion powder seasonings are optional you can do just salt pepper 
uh, garlic. You can do just salt and pepper. You can do garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, um, whatever your family likes. You can even do lemon pepper on this tray, any kind of thing. The next thing I'm going to use is nutritional yeast. It's not an active yeast. It's just a dry yeast. A lot of low-carbers, ketoers use it uh, because it's good for you. Lots of great vitamin B. And it gives it like a nutty, cheesy taste on top of the good health benefits. So I love to use it on my asparagus and all my vegetables, even on scrambled eggs. So that is that. And I'm going to salt it. You can also use butter instead of the oil. That could be salted. Or you guys probably hear my dogs in the background running around. Salt and pepper to taste, you guys. Alright, so then I'm just going to toss it a little bit. My hands are clean, but you can use tongs if you want to. And get it back into as much as one layer as you can. It doesn't matter. You can always toss it midway through if you need to, which I probably will. But, yeah. Wipe my hands really quick. Alright, and there's our tray of asparagus. This is two pounds of asparagus. I'm going to put this in my preheated. Let me go ahead and talk to you. I'm going to put this in my preheated um, 400 degree oven and then I'm going to let it bake probably for about, depending on how tender you want your celery, your celery, good grief, depending on how tender you want your asparagus, anywhere from 15 to 20, 25, 30 minutes. So I'll tell you, we like ours a little bit softer, um, so probably we'll use it, I'll probably do mine about 25, 30 minutes at 400 and I'll come back and let you know for sure after I roast it again that depends on um, how tender you want your asparagus to be but we are going to have this today for our lunch um yeah I'll come back in a few minutes and show you what it looks like all right you guys so this asparagus has been roasted I did it on 400 degrees I did it for 30 minutes actually and then I done it for three minutes on um broil just to get the tops a little bit crispy like we like it and I am, it is soft, you can tell. Let me show you. I'll pick it up because it's very soft. But it still has a little bit of a, a chew to it. It's not going to be mushy like the canned asparagus. And like I said, you could cook it even less if you wanted it to have more of a snap to it. But we love this roasted asparagus. And we are going to have just a simple dinner of a, a tuna wrap with this roasted asparagus. And that is our dinner. All right, guys, that is it. We are about to sit down and enjoy our tuna wrap and our asparagus that I just showed you how to roast. I hope you enjoyed that. And in the comments below, tell me, have you ever tried um, roasted asparagus or fresh asparagus? Tell me what you thought about it um, in the comments below. I'd love to hear for you um, from you. And if there's any kind of other videos you want to see, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys because I want all my videos to be helpful. But until the next video, I'll say toodaloo for now and have a blessed day.